tuning in, you're watching Christian Adventure Gamer, I'm your host Daniel the Paladin, and I will be doing an unboxing of Towers of Xandermere, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, a game of Conquest. I was asked to check this game out <laughs> by R Dash Studios. Um, I'm hoping that the R Dash Studios would be interested in actually coming to the Tabletop Adventure Game Con, or the Tabletop Adventure Con, uh, this year, and possibly even selling this game. Uh, so if you are interested in knowing about the Tabletop Adventure Con this year, I'm going to put a link in the description below to the event and also the Facebook page that I've created for the event. It's going to be October 19th and 20th. It's going to be a miniature convention. Uh, we're bringing in the Gen Con Games Library again. Uh, we have events going on and we're in a much bigger space this year. And so there's room for a lot, lot, lot more vendors. And so let's go ahead and dive into this box. Towers of the Xandamere. A game of Conquest, R Dash Studios. Pop this open with my handy new knife. It says it plays in about 90 minutes, uh, two to four players, 12 and up. I did see that there is a quick play right here, two standard or quick play. Uh, some basic artwork on the cards. Uh, it comes with little uh, movers and some dice, right? And some dice shakers. Looks like this, the box is actually concaved a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can probably see it right there. Uh, and that's how it came shipped. So my guess is that there's not a whole lot of stuff inside here to help with that. Nope, you can see look how much space is being unused. And here is the rule book. Here. Now let's get started. Objective of the game. Standard play, 180 minutes. Quick play, 120 minutes. Still makes for a long game, doesn't it? So, huh, it says 120 minutes here, but on the back, it said 90 minutes plus. So, the box is not quite accurate. I'm assuming, like, maybe if you get all the rules down, maybe it goes faster. Uh, everything is bullet pointed, uh, very easy to read, stands out. Uh, start and finish, stop. Huh. Tower guard stop, bridge stop, back to tavern, lose a turn, tavern, cards. One thing I would have really liked to see is like displayed off like maybe how you'd be playing cards. Instead of just images. Interesting. I believe this is their first game. Uh, can I get it out? There we go. And that is what's on the inside. We have the shakers here. Nice little ooh, they got felt on the inside. That is really nice. Okay, let's do this. There's the shaker there. It must be color coordinated. No, they're all green. I thought they had to be color coordinated based on the color of the pawns, right? And we've got dice here. The dice do match the color of the pawns. There's three pawns per color. And got some cards here. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit. And let's do this. So let's go ahead and see if there's anything on the inside. Nope, nothing on the inside. Bottom. All right, so we got Steal a Horse, advanced six pages. So oh, it's a linen finish card. Really thin though, but it's linen finish. That's nice. All right. So all the cards are the same, it looks like. So there's no other like cards for like magic spells or anything. These are all part of the game, the main game. So still a horse, still a horse, still a horse, still a horse, still a horse. Still lots of horses in this game, apparently. So, um, then gamble at dice, they ask two times, number rolled, gamble, 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 post fake sign. Okay, make people confused. Make false accusations, get someone locked up right here. Lots of those. Set a trap. Set a trap, set a trap. So there's a lot of multiples of these cards. Blessed by a monk. Unleash a dragon. Uh, meet a wizard. It's a lot. There's a, there isn't a whole lot of variety, but there's a, a lot of multiples of the cards. So 
Makes for simple play, right? Simple, simple play. So I'll put those back there. And then I'll show you the pawns real quick. I know you're dying to see the dice, right? Die, dying, dice. Ha ha ha. Okay, all words. There's that. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Um, Alright, so let's get into this. I'm sure careful how I cut it because I don't end up cutting something I'm not supposed to. Pretty big game board. Wow. All right. This board is huge. I did not expect it to be this big. All right. So as you can see here, if I can fit it in here. I can. So that means this is almost uh, three foot long, maybe. Because I think my from side to side it's about four foot on the topper. So. Right close to three foot. Ah, but like, you literally move pawns on a board. Seeing these steps and stuff, like I, I think it reminds me of Marvel Madness, the game, right? Obviously, this has nothing to do with Marvels. This is like the 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 I don't want to say rudimentary shapes. I don't know uh, of the the of the like walls, the castles and stuff. Like you would see Marvel, like in, like in my vision, I'm seeing Marvels travel down here. But obviously there's lots of stops, there's exit only, so there's you know certain ways you can go, but you can't go, you know, obviously this way, right? Huh. Different ships, discard, quest cards. So it looks like a very simple, straightforward game. Huh. Alright. And so that is a Towers of Exandermere. Um, hopefully you enjoy this unboxing. I'm going to learn this game, play this game, and maybe I'll even do like a, a video of us playing the game on the channel. If that's something you'd like to see, go ahead and put in the comments below. I want to get back to doing more live plays uh, and posting those on the channel. Uh, when I say live play, I mean like us playing and recording, right? Uh, it takes a lot more work to do live streaming. Uh, I would love to do some live streaming, uh, but maybe another time. All right, enough of me. But this is Towers of Exandermere. All right, thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.